Hey, what's up? It's your boy Onyx here, Gone Full Nerd, and I'm giving myself five minutes. That's right, five minutes to give you a quick lowdown and update on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hey, we got Marvel's Agent Carter Season 2 getting ready to premiere on television in the next week or two, and you got to recognize Agent Carter as one of the linchpins or the glue putting together the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. Agent Carter was the main character, if you look at the timeline of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, not how the movies came out, but the timeline, she was there from the very beginning at Captain America, the first Avenger, and she'll be there until, spoiler alert, they say she passes away in Captain America Civil War. She is totally responsible, or at least one of the responsible parties, for the creation and formation of S.H.I.E.L.D. as an organization in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, when you get shows like this, these aren't the shows that the casual movie fan or the action fan of the movies would normally watch. These shows are built for the comic book fan. They're not for the casual person. Though, the casual person will learn a whole lot from these stories. Case in point, there are a lot of characters that have a deep, rich history with the comic characters that are portrayed in the movie. So, the way we fix that is we create these television shows where we can interject much lesser known characters that have an important part in history and so that we don't ignore them the whole way. Now a lot of people will say, but what about the X-Men and all that other stuff? That's Fox. That's due to some financial issues and rights selling that happened in the 80s and 90s and we really can't get into that and we're really not going to get into that. But let's take a look at some of the more classic characters. Agent Carter, for season two, the rumor control is, is there's going to be two very important characters to Avengers history in it. First character is going to be Whitney Frost. For those of you who don't know Whitney Frost, Whitney Frost is an on-again, off-again boyfriend, girlfriend relationship with Tony Stark in the comic books. In Agent Carter... Obviously, she's going to be a little bit older and dealing with Howard Stark, Tony's father, in the Agent Carter series, too, if this comes to pass. Also, due to the nature of Agent Carter being in the 1950s, 1960s, and just like we saw her appearance in the Ant-Man movie in the flashback for the 70s and 80s, she's going to be heavily involved in the formation and management of S.H.I.E.L.D., Therefore, let's take a little bit of information that, you know, we've seen before. First of all is there's another character because of the Cold War in the 60s, a lot of nuclear radiation, a lot of animosity between Russia, China, and the United States during the Cold War. So, boom, Dr. Chen Lu. For those of you who don't know who that is, look it up online. And know the classic Thor villain, the Radioactive Man. Obviously, he's not going to be in the same format as the comic book character. But, you will see that he is going to be probably heavily put into as the beginning of the age of superheroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Or at least the retcon stories that are presented in Agent Carter. Now, I'm going to wrap this up. I invite you all to check out Agent Carter Season 1 online and check out Agent Carter Season 2 coming up on ABC. But one more thing i also like you to check out for those of you who like the retro 1940s look of Agent Carter. Check out my daughter's video, which you can see right here. Click and subscribe where she does a few beauty hints and tips to make you kind of look like Agent Carter with that bombshell 1940s boop, 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 boop look. So this is your boy Onyx. Remember, hit subscribe. Check me out here at Going Full Nerd, goingfullnerd.com, and on the Periscope and Twitter app at Onyx1969. Peace. Fingers.